program has brought a, a lot to my attention about issues that we have in our public health system and different ways we can combat the disparities in our own separate ways and the funding that we can get to start our own programs that we can help our communities with. This program has really helped me understand the relationship between medicine and public health. It really helped me understand how medicine is not just about the medical setting, it's more about the community as a whole. Nutrition, the field itself focuses on food and how it relates to health. As nutritionists, the main thing that we talk about is food, but we do also talk about behaviors and how both of those together can impact your health. I really like the community-based trips that we did because we really got to interact and we got to look at the disparities and what we can do as future health professionals to overcome them. At first I thought like medicine was just like doctor or nurse and that's it. So there's like so many different things that you could do and like I had no idea what public health was before this program so I'm really grateful for that. Before I started this program, the way how we were learning medicine in school, it was very textbook. But when I came to this program, we got more hands on. I still want more but this is a lot better than what we're doing in our school. So if you go that route, your first three years is undergraduate, but the first year of physical therapy school, you're completing your bachelor's. So a lot of people, they start out in the bio department or exercise phys or something like that, but in year one of physical therapy school, they're actually graduating with a BS. tell future generations to be willing to try new things. This program was the inaugural class and it was the first thing, first time I ever heard of it. So I think that a lot of other kids should be willing to try new things because they'll gain a lot of experience. I think the medical field is really special because it's always evolving. There's always something new to discover and you're never done learning. So I think my perspective of public health really expanded in the medical field as well. diverse like personality so my career goals are really like um, complex so I really like surgery I like internal medicine but also like other things in other fields like I like meteorology and things like that I like to become a neurosurgeon because I like the art of surgery just having a hands-on career is what I'm really looking for the look and see that the brain requires is something that interests me I would like to become an obstetrician gynecologist because when I had surgery I was very intrigued by the medical procedure I would like to become a physiatrist because I'm a competitive swimmer and one season I was having discomfort in my shoulder and my coach referred me to work with a physical therapist. It was very intriguing and I, it was an eye opener and I, and I thought to myself, oh wow, this is what I really want to do. In any interview, there's always a question that says, tell me a little bit about yourself. That's a trap. It's usually a trap for, no, it's usually a trap for several reasons. I used to think that that meant tell me about yourself, about who I am. So I'm like, oh, I like this, I like this, I play football, I like volleyball. It told them nothing about my capabilities as a professional or as a worker. Remember that when your interviews come up, they want to know who you are as a professional. I would advise future generations to use every opportunity that they are given, especially in this program. Use, um, use the net different networking opportunities as well as use your friends that you meet. Sometimes you're going to have to make tough decisions as far as 
extracurricular activities and sometimes if your schedule is really jam-packed but it's all about having a diverse resume and making sure that you're getting the physical activities in and you're also getting the out-of-school experiences such as this internship or other programs. I would tell them to take full advantage of meeting all the healthcare professionals and to actually really listen to the advice that they give because I've learned a lot about not only their professions but also about the college application process and more. Advice I would like to give to the future generations is please leave your comfort zone. Don't stay in your box because you will find a lot of different opportunities outside of your comfort zone.